Heime? Hi guys. Hi. Are you all Spanish now? No. No? Okay. I'm German. I'm not sure about that. I'm German. Good, good. Okay, so we're having the last presentation of today of Campus Party on Gutenberg stage. Um, I'd like to present you to uh, Sebas Muriel or yeah, yeah. Yeah? yeah, from 20 and uh, he's going to introduce uh, his project, The Social Network, and I heard that it's going to launch in Europe soon. That's right. Okay, then welcome him on stage, please. Okay. Thank you. Cool. Okay. So thank you very much for attending this conference. Uh, I'm going to talk about how we see the future on, on, on communications and we're seeing it uh, in our experience. It's, it's more mobile than ever and it's more social than ever. And this is just uh, part of a video that we have done to explain how we think people want to communicate right now, okay? Let's see it works. The sound. El sonido está o Ah. the big idea is you know people want to to do things in a very simple way and to do without you know the problem on privacy they want to chat with everyone they want to share only with the people that really matters and that's probably the big concept that we are trying to work I mean there's a lot of big you know social platforms all around the world uh, of course the bigger players they are doing a lot of you know, improvements in terms of innovation. This is our vision. We want to be the, the simplest way to communicate with the people that really matter and to do it in real life, in real time, right now, okay? And how we think uh, everything is, is going to, to, to be built. We're building our experience on millions of people that are using right now 20, most of them in Spain, but we have a lot of them that they have moved from the web to the mobile environment, okay? Right now, from 14 million people that has been using 20 in a web platform, more than, than, than 6 million people is using our mobile apps, okay? And we have more than 400 million chat conversations per day. People is using a lot, you know, the, the chat, trying to understand and to be connected with the people that they want to talk with. The problem is that if you want you know, to, to use these kind of platforms. Uh, we've seen a, a great growth, especially in Android. This is more than 600% of growth in the last year, only in Android. The rest of platforms are also growing, but uh, at least in Spain, Android is, is getting the big part of it. So we just put the mobile on the center of the experience, and all the developers are now uh, developing the product from the mobile perspective. We are not building mobile apps from a very successful web, but we are trying to use the web just as a complement of the mobile uh, experience. 
and we're developing for all the biggest platforms, iOS, Android, BlackBerry, and Windows Phone, okay? As I said, uh, we keep the web because on opposite like, for example, WhatsApp, people also want to chat from the web when they are connected through a PC or for a tablet, for example, okay? And that's probably the main change on, 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 the, on how we see communication. We're very focused on the social component, on, on, on that communication, okay? We want the chat, you know, to be all, always present. Every single page is going to be accessed to the people uh, that you have uh, in, your, in your network, okay? So you can start the conversation anyway, anytime, uh, from wherever you are. The idea is a big concept, this is the cross-platform, seamless communication. I mean, I can start my conversation, for example, with some of us uh, in my BlackBerry. If I want to switch to, to the PC because I reach home, I can start and continue because all the conversation is in the cloud, all your contacts are in the cloud, and if, for example, I get out of battery from one of my cell phones, I can ask, you know, whenever you you have one of yours, and I can use your phone, you know, to continue my conversation, my chat with anyone, okay? So that's an incredible uh, experience in terms of your contacts is not anymore associated with a phone number, okay? It's only, you know, you only need to, to log in wherever you, wherever you are. And I think that the biggest complement in terms of, of, of what we are changing in, in, in all the social graph is, is uh, to simplify the model. Uh, I don't like, for example, if I post some of my photos, that a friend of a friend of a friend can comment on my, on my social network. And this is happening more and more with Facebook or with Twitter or, or with other social uh, networks. And, and you have that problem because you usually aggregate, as a friend, a lot of people that is not a real friend, okay? So we have simplified everything. We don't believe on list groups. My friends of my friends are not probably some people that want you know to, to, to look on some of the content that I am uploading. So it's very simple. You just have to decide whether you have someone that you want to aggregate as a friend or as a contact. You know? And you have your information, you have the friends that are sharing some of that content and you can chat with the rest of your list or your contact list because they are not real friends. They're just contacts. And that's the main difference on the on the new model. Social down simple. It's kind of you have to decide whether you want to chat with him or whether you have or you want to share all the contents. Huh? And that's that that's all. You have one screen in the app with all the chat and the social component that for example WhatsApp doesn't have. If you swipe to left, you just get all the feed with your best friends and this is a very private way of seeing what they are doing but only your friends not your contacts okay so for example in the screen jamie is one of my contacts but if i want to get on this uh, content i'm not going to be able to see what he's doing because he's not my friend okay and if you swipe right you get your digital joe okay that's what are you doing okay and i'm sharing this with only with my friends so the idea is you can chat and send real-time message to anyone that is in your contact list that you have aggregated as a contact or you want to share experience only with close friends okay not with everyone if i want to share something with with all the world wide web i will use twitter or Facebook, or LinkedIn, or so many other uh, social networks, okay? So that's our proud, our social messenger. We are launching now in beta for Android, and also for, for uh, BlackBerry. We are having iPhone and Windows Phone in the next few weeks, and we are trying to focus on, on, on especially in LATAM and, and, and Europe. Okay, trying to identify that small need on very private, secure communication, social communication, that other tools right now are, are not going to be uh, able to, to provide. Okay? So you can download already our, our beta platform in both Android and, and BlackBerry, as I said, in, in, in this, uh, in this uh, web, it's app.20.com. 
and I mean we will be very very proud if you can send us feedback on how you see everything and, and how can to improve the the, the 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 project itself okay and that's all thank you very much uh, I mean ready for for questions quick and dirty Hi, Seb. I, uh, I see the, the version in mobile for the user is very simple, and you can use all the all the all the function. But uh, for the a business or an enterprise that uh, they have a, a page and official, and who is the who is the interaction with the with the user through the the mobile version? You, you mean when an enterprise want to interact with someone? Yeah. Uh, yeah, the idea is the tool is going to be very private communication based only on people, okay? Uh, we are going to uh, build the, the pages for enterprises, but they are going to be kind of contacts, okay? So you can decide whether a company, a brand, want to interact with you, but they are not going to be as a friend. So, they, I mean, the idea is to get a less noise than in other you know, social networks like like Facebook or Twitter. When in your feed, you interact your real friends, a brand, a company, or someone you know that can jump and make noise on on your on your feed. On your, you know, we want to avoid that. The feed, I mean, the, the screen when you see what is happening to your friends is going to be only for people, for real people, real people, real information. You're going to have less than probably 50 people aggregate as friends. The rest are contacts. You can interact with them on the chat and, and pages in the case of enterprises, okay? But you minimize a lot of the noise, so the experience is very, I mean, it's much better than, 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 than in other platforms. And that's the idea. I don't know if I answer your, your question or Hello? Um, you didn't mention any pricing models. What about that? Yeah, well, we, we, we are now very focused on, on the user experience. The platform is going to be uh, ad-free, but in Spain we are having a kind of a very low intrusive advertising model based on the relevant information that the, the user want to, to share. And we have a, a virtual operator. So our way to monetize the, the platform is uh, probably going to be based in the future on the connectivity platform rather than the advertising model, okay? But as I said, at the beginning, in the international web, all around the world, it's going to be even at, at free. There's not going to be any uh, advertising at all. So, I mean, what we are doing in Spain is, is we got that MBNO, we, so people can use uh, 20 as an operator to connect, so they pay for the connectivity, and, and we get kind of very low, yeah, very low uh, acquisition channel to get new customers for the operator uh, based on the social network and the relationship between them. They invite one to another, so we don't have to, to invest in, in, in advertising. Um, are you planning to have an API? A what? Sorry? An API. Yeah. Well, we have right now, the problem is that we are very obsessed, as I said, on, on the privacy. And we don't want, you know, that the, you know, that the company or third parties has access to our users' data like others are, are, are doing, because we think that's probably the, the way that we are going to be uh, much uh, stronger to compete with them. For example, we, we we don't share any information that is happening in 20 is not shared uh, with Google. So Google doesn't index our content. If you search for for Sebas, you will get a lot of information from my blog from my Facebook, my LinkedIn, my Twitter, but you are not going to get any on, on 20. The API we are giving in a controlled way only to some companies or some partners to develop special uh, features for, for some of our customers, for example, uh, like, like social media agencies. Uh, and in the future, probably, potentially, we're going to open also to, to third parties. But as I said, it's, it's very controlled way because we don't want that uh, anyone can develop for us. 
So you you you're gonna certify these partners or kind of? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that'll be great. Hi, Sebastian. Thank you. It's well known that the um, the network in Spain it's about teenagers. How about your plans? Your international plans is the the same target, or are you thinking about uh, another uh, uh, another ages? Yeah, I think that I mean the biggest part of, of, of our current user base in Spain is, is yeah is people around their twenties. It's teenagers. But that's because at the beginning the platform was only by invitation. Uh, right now it's open, and now anyone can download the the, the the app. I think that it's think the proud itself is think on, you know, to, to that anyone can use. It's, it's not a question on, 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 on age. It's not a question on, on, on place where you live. Uh, in fact, with the, when we add the contact functionality, the feature that you can add someone to as a contact is think so you can chat with your daughter for example uh, but you don't necessarily want to see their photos and the, the things that she's sharing with with their friends and that's that's probably the main difference for example with Facebook in Spain I think that the youngest are, are using more because of that because the parents are not in 20 and they, they they want to use because they don't want you know to to show that uh, but we think that it's it's not going to be just a teenager uh, way of that you want to to use is is more that uh, privacy model i mean i would love to have my twitter for you know everyone my facebook will remain my extended kind of of a friends group but i want to to get a place where i can really share special content, very intimate content, only with some particular subset of, of my very close friends. And we think that 20 is going to be that place. I mean, because it, it gets the bears from the chat uh, tools like WhatsApp, uh, but it's also get the best from the social, uh, which is the, the experience on, on how you can, you know, share. For example, if you want to share a photo in WhatsApp, you just put there and you lost. The photo is, is not anywhere. I mean, you cannot comment that photo. You cannot get, uh, I like that photo. You know, it's, the experience is terrible compared with the social tools. And now the social tools have the problem on privacy. The big problem is that you don't know who is going to see that content. In Spain, the teenagers are using that because they want to, to feel comfortable about no one else is looking at this. It's only me and my friends. And that's the, the strength of, of the tool. Hi, Sebas. Uh, I'm a 20 customer from like three years ago. You, sir. Yeah. <laughs> and I wonder. You don't pay for that. No, I don't. <laughs> and I wonder why can I do? Why can I not use the new 20? And a person from anywhere else in the world that joins today can use it. Yeah, anyone can use now. If you log in here in in Germany, uh, uh, 20.com. You get in German already, you can uh, register, you can download for Android and for Blackberry. It's still not available for iPhone or Windows Phone, but it's, going, it's coming next week. Uh, yeah, the idea is that in Spain, we are keeping the old 20, the 20 classic, for a few months, because the, the, the shock is going to be kind of big, you know, because the, the interface is, is really, really new, and you're, you have to wait. But if you type now 20.com slash Nuevo 20, you will see the look and feel on the new. But yeah, don't tell anyone. But that stopped working for me. It's not working? I did it and, and two days it disappeared and I have the all interface now. Okay, now that we are just testing in beta for, for the Spanish. Thank you. Okay. This is a question of uh, of Esteban. Esteban. <laughs> yeah, Esteban's question. I, I'm the speaker. <laughs> uh, how about the the plans to to be in another countries? Uh, I th I uh, I think in in South America, Brazil. I don't know if you can talk about. Yeah, we we. I mean, anyone in. in 
I mean, any country of the world can download now. We have translate to 12 different language. And if your language is not there, uh, you're going to get on English, okay? But uh, yeah, we're going to make special efforts on marketing in, in those countries where Telefonica has presence, especially LATAM and, and here, Europe, with O2. Uh, why? Because I think it's, it's, it's a very way, I mean, very easy way to, to get uh, enough awareness on, on the tool. The tool itself, the product itself is, is, is good, should be good enough, you know, that the viral mechanisms can grow. Uh, we're going to be present in all the app stores, so anyone can, can, is going to be able to download and, and to, to start the conversation. No? As, you, as you know, uh, LATAM has a small uh, penetration uh, rate on uh, smartphones now and we think that we, it's the right moment now to get you know everyone who is getting from feature phone to, to smartphone that they they grow with this kind of applications I think that everyone in a two three four years time frame is going to be using this kind of chat real-time communication tools and we are probably I mean going to fight against WhatsApp and Facebook there they are the main. Twitter is completely different in terms of, of, of the experience because you are talking with, with... But we think that the privacy in Facebook is getting more and more a, a problem there. People is, is, you know, getting not good experience if they want to share certain content with only with, you know, limit kind of people. And, and we think that we have that, that window opportunity there. Gracias, por casi todos. Son okay, thank españoles. you very much, Sebastian. Thank you. So, what does what does twenty mean from for me as a not yeah, twenty is, is kind of playing with twenty that is your place in in the internet, is your digital ID there. It's also playing with the twenty number. Is both the age as as you know, it's more teenager oriented uh, platform in Spain, but also with uh, a concept that we are going to work is kind of you don't have you know, 200 real friends. At least most of people has around 15 to 20 real friends where you talk, you know, the 90% of your real conversation where you talk with people is family, very close friends, and the rest of the world is just contact. So we want to play with that in the name. Okay, I see. Thank you. So I'll try that out. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, then loud it. <laughs> So this was actually the last uh, talk on the stage. So I want to thank you all for your interest, for your time, for your questions. It has been amazing. So I heard that there's, that there's something going on on the main stage later. So please don't leave yet. Thank you.